Oh, it looks like we've started. Good afternoon, everybody. It is, um, this is Beverly from Design BCB, and this is September 2nd. And you know what that means. It's time to show you what I did for the month of August to show you the yarns that I'm going to pull for my September work. And then I also have a very small yarn haul, an extremely small yarn haul, because my friend Leah uh, works at a summer camp in Wisconsin. And on the way from summer camp, she always asks if I want anything from Hirschner's because she passes right by it. And um, I asked her to pick up one skein each of my favorite yarn, one skein of my favorite yarn in each of the colors. And so I'm going to show that to you near the end. So let us go. Let us go. So it took me a while to get this started because I was fiddling around with my um, camera holder. It wasn't the right height, and I wanted to do this in port in landscape instead of portrait. And in the end, it works out better if I I don't know how I did it last month, but in the end, it just works out better if I hold it by hand. So I'm one-handed uh, again. All right, so let's get started. What did I do? All right. This is my basic beanie. Let's see if I can get this on her. Okay, you're going to go in a little bit close. Oops. And here we go. Wait, I'm going to put this down. Hold on a second. There we are. All right. So my basic beanie. This was done out of Soho gradient, graceful gradients. And that is the yarn I got, speaking of Hirschner's, from Hirschner's. Um, it is a, a, a cotton acrylic blend. It's quite lovely, and yeah, I, you might be able to see the different gradients of color that runs through it, and it's not a stripe, um, but that's really pretty. So that was the first thing that came out. Then the second, and I'm going to put you down again while I get this on her. Hold on one sec. A cable beanie, a cable slouch, and this is done out of Loops and Threads Impeccable in the Arbor Rose color. I tend to call that pink, but whatever floats your color boat. So there's that. And then, don't have to put this the next thing on anybody. I'll move her out the way a second. Oh, wait. Yes, I do. Have another hat. Hold on one second. There we go. This is um, my lace slouchy. And this is done in Karen Big Cakes in Shadowberry. Yeah, I, I really like that color. And I got the inspiration to do the lace beanie in this color after I did a taffy pull scarf in that color. I'll hold that taffy pull scarf there. That is really quite lovely. That's, that's very pretty. Um, it's an it's a nice warm greens into blues. Uh, it's and this is really soft. This is one of this is one of my favorites. I really like it, and I really like it in the in the beanie as well. I I really do like that. All right. Next is a pattern. 
Hold on a second, I gotta, I gotta um, switch out a hat. Hold on. There we are. This is my uh, Sofra beanie, and it's called Sofra because it's for sorority fraternity. And this pattern uh, will introduce you to or reacquaint you with Helix knitting because this is done Helix style. So you don't have any jogs of color when you switch color. So that is a pattern that will be available shortly. Um, and you can do this in any number of colors. Um, this is the first time I've done helix knitting with just two colors. But the pattern for that will be available soon. Got another hat. Hold on. This month's collection is called Napes and Noggins because there are a lot of hats in this collection. This is another of the cable beanie and this is in the original color. This is taupe. Um, taupe by Karen, one pound. Oh, by the way, I should tell you, oops, that this hat is done in ice yarns, ice saver. Um, they don't give colors so much on their label. So this is Ive Saver Pink and Green. This is Karen One Pound and Taupe. Do I, ha I have two more hats. Hold on one sec. This is another basic beanie. This is done in Verbena. I don't remember the color. I don't remember the colorway this is, but this is Verbena um, by Willow. Willow Verbena. So that's another that's another Hirschner yarn. I love that color, whatever it is. And if I look it up, I'll put it in the notes somewhere below. Or you can go to, to Willow or Hirschner's and, and look it up. But Verbena. And I will be doing a, um, a yarn review for it. And I have one last hat, which is a pattern. Hold on. There we go. So my last, looks like a pretty, very big beanie, but my last hat pattern is a beanie. Not quite basket weave, I call it basket block. And this was actually made for a guy. If I had it on the guy beanie, it would look a little bit different. Oh, hold on. Let's, oops, let's make her look cute. So the pattern, and this, um, this is done out of Karen Big Cakes, the cookies and cream. And the pattern for this will be available shortly. There are two patterns and I believe seven hats. Uh, and so then we, but, so that's the basket block beanie. And then the last things I have, I have a prayer shawl. I think has turned out quite beautiful. It's, oh, this is so incredibly soft. You can't believe how soft this is. But this, I think this turned out quite beautiful. And remember I said that I was going to be doing the prayer shawls in a mixture of different yarns as long as they somehow went together. And so this is made out of three 
different yarn. Um, it's homespun and it's Yarn B Fireside. Uh, the Fireside, I think, is maple. And the two homespuns, I think one is Prairie and one is Nouveau. But, oh, you cannot believe how beautiful and how soft that is. And then the last thing is also a yarn I hadn't used before, but I was excited to get to do it. This is a cowl, a nice lush cowl, and this is made out of um, Karen Chunky Cakes in, I don't remember the pink name. Par no, it's not Parfait. I don't remember the name of that of that pink either. Oh, that's too bad. And I made notes and everything. Uh, no, can't remember. Nope, just can't. If I'll look it up, I'll put it. I'll put it in the notes below too. But that is my. I think that was ten, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Yep, that was all my work for August, and I actually finished in August. Finished it August 31st. And now I, I have a confession to make about what we're doing next month. I've already finished one of next month's items. So I'm not showing you all 10 yards, yarns that I'm using. Okay, so for next month, next month is called the Do You Collection because there are four patterns that, that are involved. So this month's yarn, we have Impeccable, and we have that in, uh, I want to say this is all of Deep Forest and Royal and Aubergine. There you go. Right? That come into focus? Aubergine. We'll be using that. We will be using Lion Brand mandala in warlock i think this is warlock let me see. yes in warlock we will be making another prayer shawl so here's the first skein of that in homespun and i think this is herb this is herb garden we will be uh, making four hat patterns one of those patterns will be made out of these two ice yarns. Savor Red, Savor Cream. And we will also be using Savor Green. I can't remember what I was using that for, but we'll be using that. We will be doing another taffy pull, which means we will be using Big Cakes. And this is Cake Roll. And this is the, I think this is the last color of the Big Cakes that I have. So when I do Taffy Pull Scarves in the future, after that, I will be using different yarns. And then finally, I will be doing another lace slouch. And I'm going to be doing that in one of the original colors. And this is impeccable earth impeccable earth so that's what I'm making or what I'm using for September yay and I've already started I, um, I made another of the big cowls that I made with um, the chunky cakes I already made that cow because they're so much fun to make so I pop, pop that puppy, puppy out real quick so those are the yarns that I'll be using for September and then what Leia brought me 
I have a new favorite yarn, which is hard to do, but I do. And so she, here's my bag that she brought for me. And my favorite yarn, ta da da is Lion Brand Jeans Colors. And I asked Leia to bring me one skein each um, of each color that jeans color comes in and this this color is capri uh, they name them because it's jeans after different shorts or pieces of clothing or something like that I this is so soft and it drapes so nicely it's 246 yards it is I believe 100% acrylic yep uh, it feels soft, it drapes nicely, it does feel like comfortable denim jeans. Um, the regular ones are all kinds of different shades of blue, which is why I like colors best. That's Capri. This color is Corduroy. And I, it's purpley brown, it, but that'll be fun. The next one is jumpsuit. It's a reddish pink. Yeah. That would be fun to deal with. Two more. This one is khaki, which is kind of apropos. Brownish with a little white coiling through. And the last one is Bermuda Shorts. My lovely yarn haul. So, um, no guarantee that I will use these. Might, might not. I could substitute yarns, of course, at any given time. But that's it for this month. That went really quick. But that was there. So there is, there's what we have. My stack of work for August. My stack of yarn for September. And some new stuff that may or may not get used. So there it is. So there'll be a whole bunch of information um, on Design BCB or how to sign up for the newsletter or uh, join the private Facebook group. I'll make sure I put all of that below. This was fun. I love doing this. This, this is kind of fun. This is fun taking a look. I love this yarn. I love the work. I love all this. So I will see you guys at the beginning of next month and we will see what all of this well most of this we will see what it becomes I was, I'm particularly looking forward to the four patterns because I know they're four hats but I have no idea how they're going to turn out yet so I look forward to seeing you then you all have a great month and I will see you soon bye